welcome to Community Connect. I have with me City Councilman um, Dennis Scott from the City of Grand Haven. Welcome. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you very much for asking me, yes. Last time we talked to you, Bob Minetta, and we talked a little bit about infrastructure and the utilities. Today we're going to talk about the roads and how important they are. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the road system in the City of Grand Haven? Yes. Um, we have about 59 and a half miles of road, um, 22 um, of that are um, major and um, 37, a little over 37 are um, local. Um, so together we have about 59 and a half miles of road. Okay. Um, we have projects of um, um, resurfacing our roads right now, so and, and we're in the process of spending $700,000 on those roads. So. And to pay for that, I mean, some of it comes from taxes with gas taxes and the um, the new governor wants to fix those roads, but that's not going to cover all of the major issues that we have with them. How, how does that get paid for? Okay, um, out, of the, out of the gas tax, 39.1% goes to um, the county, 39.1% goes to the state, and then we get about 21% ourselves that we keep, 21.8% um, of that stays with us in the city. Sure. Um, that is roughly about nine hundred thousand dollars, maybe um, a little, a little under that, I think. And does that vary with depending on how much gas is sold? Right, or, you know, it does. I mean, yes, yes, stop it goes. For yep, reason, yep, sure. yep, yep. And there's also a, I think, a four percent or six percent sales tax on that too, on gasoline. But that does not go to roads. That goes wherever they want to spend it. So. Okay. Um, but but um, so the gas tax itself, like I said, we get twenty-one point eight percent of of, um, of the, that that stays with us. Um, of that, of course, that's not enough. I mean, that that, that don't even come close to running our roads mm -hmm. for, for plowing them, for um, for uh, the upkeep of the the, uh, the storm sewers and and everything else. So we, we run about seven hundred thousand dollars short. So right. we have to make up as taxpayers seven hundred thousand dollars just to maintain our roads without resurfacing anything. So resurfacing has to come from Millages that we ask the taxpayers payers to so come up with. So we talk about roads. It's not just what we're driving on. It's the drainage. It's everything that. that right. That, that, that includes yes. I mean, we have to get the water off the roads. So yeah, yeah, and they, we don't they, always think about that. You know, when we talk about the infrastructure, you know, utilities and underneath the road, that's one thing. But we notice the roads all the time because we're always driving on them. Correct. What is the step to take when, when those taxes aren't going to cover all of that? How are we going to make up that? Um, the negative. Uh, yeah, the only way we can do that is millage, and that's what we're asking for. Is uh, that's why we're asking for three mills. And um, when we have to tear a whole road up because of utilities, I mean, uh, some roads we can go underneath it and fix the utilities, line the sewer line, sewers, and um, and and if the water mains are on the side or something, we can, we can fix them without tearing the whole road up. And so you can resurface that, but. A lot of times we can't do that. Harbor Avenue is one one of those we can't do that. Fulton Street is another one you're going to see um, that we can't do that. And when we do that, um, <clears throat> we have to do the whole road. Uh, we can uh, we can we can do a mile of road uh, of, of resurfacing for about 190 or 295 thousand dollars. That that covers about a, a mile of road. Um, if we tear a road up. That same mile, we have to have a 1.1 million. Jeez. So yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's a huge that's, difference. Yeah, it's over yeah. three times what uh, what it would cost to resurface. So, so it's a huge difference, and and um, so and, and so the road thing is, is a big. So when you think about replacing water and sewer lines that need to be replaced under the road, that is a big, uh, a big, big expense. Sure. Now, when you're going on a road trip, you're driving through these cities, and you almost kind of judge a city by their roads. How, how does that come into play? I mean, are we being judged in Grand Haven by our roads, and how are we, how are we being judged? Yes, we are. I mean, when, 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 no matter where you travel, if you go into a city and, and you get a whole bunch of potholes and, and you see their ro roads are in really bad shape, you think, man, this, this, you know, they're not they're taking very good care of their town, you know? and, and um, so we try to maintain our town um, without the huge back, back you know, uh, um, potholes and uh, and uh, things that obstruct drivers, you know. So we work hard to do that, and and to do that, we we've asked our uh, our taxpayers to come up with some millages. And uh, and back in '09, when um, when the economy was hurting, um, we asked um, 
Oh, actually, we didn't ask. We um, were going to stop doing any roads at all. We just didn't have the money to do it. So instead of doing that, we put a quarter mill on, which is about um, $125,000, which don't do money much no, for, for roads. Yeah, I mean, that does half a mile. But it's better, than, it's better than not doing anything. Sure. So, so that's what we decided to do, put another half, a quarter mill on and, uh, and do that. And then when the county passed their... Um, their millage, um, of course, uh, the people in Grand Haven don't use county roads. We use our own roads, so so the county let us keep a half a mill for that. So we got three quarters of a mill, which is about three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. So of um, about three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars of 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 our of, 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 uh, together with our quarter mill, you know. So it's that's that's what we. And then we put uh, we put some more with it this year, and uh, we had four hundred fifty thousand, and um, we had a little balance surplus or a, a, a budget surplus this year. So we took some more money of that, and we put it uh, we put it with us. So we had seven hundred thousand dollars. We can't keep doing that every year. For sure, and um, that, that seven hundred thousand is not going to go real far when you're talking about maintaining. Right, 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 winter. right, right. So yeah, I mean. When you got um, 60 miles of roads almost, and you're, you're you know we're doing about two miles of them, that's that's not very much, not very you much. know. No, and I mean if you look at Sheldon Road, Sheldon Road is only 14 years old, and you look at it, it's already starting to uh, show us wear. In six, seven years now, we're going to have to do something with Sheldon Road again, and and, and it's just an ongoing problem. It's, well, it's something that never stops. Well, this is not a stops. new problem either. It's, no, I mean, no, no, no. Once you build it. It starts eventually deteriorating. Right, right. So, yeah. So, uh, we replace roads, and, and, and 20 years later, we're back, back doing resurfacing on them again. That's just, you know, that's the way it goes. And if we if we don't keep up with them, we're, we're like you said, people are going to come to town and they're going to see our potholes. And, and the people, the residents of Grand Haven, don't want to run through great big potholes either. So exactly. So with this millage being passed, then that's going to afford the city the funds needed to repair the roads that need. That need to be it's going to help us with resurfacing, and then it's going to help us to rebuild the roads after we take the take fix the infrastructure underneath the roads. And, and like you see, you know, a million dollars per mile doesn't go very far. So, so no, no. So, um, but it's something that has to be done. I mean, if we want to right. live in a nice city, we want to drive without, you know, spilling our coffee. On the right, way to work right, because right, of right, bottles, right, right. Yeah, that's we much work. Needed. Right, we work as a council. We work hard to try to keep our our infrastructure going, and, and we just, you know, I mean, we've done a lot of good things. We man, we've done projects around the highway, and, um, the wall, and, and the infrastructure around Lake Avenue, and and, um, and I can um, Jackson Street. That's the that stuff is just falling apart down there, that north end of town. And we did all that, and we did some really good project. Grand Avenue is another one, just just old stuff that needed to be replaced, and and, and we've uh, man, we, we've we, we've we've done a lot with taxpayer money, but. But you know, during, out, you know, during construction time, it's kind of aggravating as a driver because you're either doing detours or you're slowing down traffic. But once it's complete, it just makes a world of difference, and you can just drive on a nice, nice road. Absolutely, you know, and, and um, to do that, it, it takes it takes funds to do that. Sure. And and like I said, we're, we're, we're the crews are out there right now today resurfacing some of our roads, and uh, and we'd like to do more. We'd like to go for the. We're, do, we're doing a spot here, a spot there. You know, we're getting the worst section of the road done, but it would be nice if we could do, go a little further than some of these roads, mm -hmm. you know, and you get better prices that way too. But seven hundred thousand dollars just don't stretch for us. So yeah, you try to get the unfortunately you try to get the worst places done that you that we would get done, you know, with, with that amount of money. So so we would for after the taxpayers to yeah to uh, come alongside of us and uh, and uh, help us with uh, with what we need to do to keep our roads. Uh, and the construction and our infrastructure because, like I said, you know, once you tear a road up, it takes a lot to put it back together again. We, that's a lot of money, so, yeah. Well, good. Well, I think we're about out of time, so thank you very much for being on the show, um, telling us a little bit about the infrastructure, roads, and what's needed to keep those up. Well, thank you very right. much for asking me. Thank you. Thank you for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. D. Baker & Son Lumber Company has been connecting with the Tri-Cities since 1871. Our traditions haven't changed in all these years. Quality products, honest pricing, and partnerships with local suppliers is why D. Baker & Son Lumber Company stands the test of time. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave & Stacy's expertise 
find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes.